It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another video for The Walking Dead Universe. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down the post credit scene from the series finale episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond. We're gonna analyze the scene and take a look at all of the details and everything that we could get out of that post credit scene. Now, before we get into this video, obviously, if you haven't watched the series finale of World Beyond, you do not want to watch this video because we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff that's gonna spoil some events from that episode for you. There's actually tons of interesting reveals in this post credit scene about a new variant type of walkers, a hint that we're gonna see a European spinoff. There's a possible reveal that the Civic Republic military or the CRM existed pretty early on into the outbreak, which is something many fans were anticipating. And last of all, there is a small tease of a possible connection to Rick Grimes himself. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break all of this down. All right, as always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. If any of the shows on the left interest you, then you definitely wanna stick around and subscribe because those are the shows that I react to or I cover in depth on the channel. With that said, let's dive right in. So obviously, the biggest part of the post credit scene was the return of a character from season one of The Walking Dead, original show. That person being Dr. Edwin Jenner. For those of you that don't know, Dr. Edwin Jenner is actually the doctor that Rick and gang found back at the CDC before the explosion went off and destroyed everything. In fact, right before Rick and the others left, Dr. Edwin Jenner whispered something in Rick's ears. And what he whispered into Rick Grimes' ears was, a big reveal about the nature of the virus that is impacting everyone in that world. He told them that we are all infected. So no matter what happens to you, whether you get bit, whether you die of a heart attack, or whether you get hit by a car and die, when you die, you turn into a walker. That's exactly what Rick revealed to his group back in season two, I think that we are all infected. So Dr. Edwin Jenner is a pretty important character in the Walking Dead universe because he's the one that broke the news to not only Rick but the audience about what the nature of the virus is and what to expect. So it makes perfect sense to choose this character to bring in a post credit scene that impacts the Walking Dead universe. And that's exactly what they did, which is pretty awesome. But in this post credit scene, we have Dr. Edwin Jenner on a video recording and he sent this message to a doctor in France. We'll get to that in just a little bit, but Dr. Edwin Jenner tells this doctor that they have not seen any cases back in the US about variant types of walkers or what he referred to as variant cohorts and that those types of walkers are only identified in France. And most likely other European countries. In Europe, you can get from one country to the other pretty easily and one type of walker can end up in a different country. Now let's get back to the discussion about the French. What we do know about the French, and this is again based on what Dr. Edwin Jenner shared with the group back in season one, Dr. Edwin Jenner communicated with the French pretty early on and through their communications, Dr. Edwin found out that the French are close to finding some sort of cure to get rid of the virus. Obviously that didn't go anywhere and even if it went anywhere, Dr. Edwin Jenner didn't learn anything about it because he died before he could have another communication with the French. Now, obviously the big question that many of you may have is what are variant cohorts? They revealed that in that same post credit scene, the doctor who was watching Dr. Edwin Jenner's video recordings was actually confronted by a soldier of some type. The soldier killed this doctor. We're gonna get back to the soldier in just a little bit, but 
once the doctor is dead, she obviously turns into a walker. But unlike the regular walkers that we see on The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and The Walking Dead World Beyond, the one in this post credit scene is a running walker, which is contradictory, but it's a running zombie. In fact, it's an aggressive running zombie. So that's probably the variant cohorts that the French had discovered, and that's precisely what Dr. Edwin Jenner was referring to. Now the question that comes up is, does this mean we're gonna see fast running zombies in The Walking Dead? Well, not in the original show and not on Fear, but most definitely in The Walking Dead movies. The reason why is because The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead have a setting in the United States. And it's impossible for zombies to travel that distance because there's an ocean in between. Unless some got into America because they were in planes that crashed into the United States and whatnot. But we're not gonna go there. At this point, it's most likely that there are no fast zombies in the United States. But there are probably some, if not a lot, in Europe. So that's pretty interesting. That means in the Walking Dead movies, we are most likely going to visit Europe at some point. In that visit, we're probably gonna see a lot more of these fast zombies and how the CRM deals with these variant cohorts of zombies. Because it's obviously something we have never seen in The Walking Dead. We've seen a lot of this in other types of zombie shows and zombie movies, but not in The Walking Dead. So I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with these fast zombies and how they're gonna make them different. Because if they just give us fast zombies like the other shows and movies, then it's not that interesting, you know what I mean? I hope they add their own flavor to it. Now, let's get back to the discussion about the French. One other thing that was teased at in this particular post credit scene was related to a message that was left on the ceiling. The message was in French and it loosely translated to the dead started here or the dead were born here, which is very interesting because it teases at the possibility that the virus started in France or Europe, if you want to be a little bit more general. So that is extremely interesting. Now, one thing I do want to say here is, even though I said we are probably going to visit Europe in the Walking Dead movies, it's also likely that if there are more spin-offs, they may take place in Europe instead of in the United States again. So even if we don't visit Europe in the first Walking Dead movie, we may end up getting a story about what happened in Europe during the outbreak in a spin-off show where we might actually see these variant cohorts or these running zombies. Now, the other thing I do want to mention, which is extremely interesting, is a possible tease or possible connection to Rick Grimes. What we know based on the Walking Dead's comic book series is that Rick Grimes had a brother. His brother wasn't in the United States during the outbreak. He was actually in Spain, Barcelona to be exact, which is in Europe. So maybe they're going to combine the idea that I just talked about with a spin-off about Rick Grimes' brother. Maybe we're gonna get a spin-off for Rick Grimes' brother in Europe, and that's gonna be where we see these fast running zombies. I think that would be a great way to hit two birds with one stone. The other thing I do wanna talk about is something that many fans were confused about. When I initially talked about this a few days ago, I mentioned that this soldier was a CRM soldier and the doctor was a Civic Republic military researcher or doctor. And a lot of people commented and said that that's not true, that this group is different and that they're dressed differently and all of that, which is possible. I mean, I'm not throwing away that possibility, but there are a lot of stuff that if you think about could make it more possible that this group is actually connected to the Civic Republic military. One of these things is the soldier 
asks the doctor where their group went. I'm assuming that group that he was referring to is a group of doctors and researchers. This doctor told the guy with the gun or the soldier that they went to Toledo, Ohio, United States for a conference. Now, that is very interesting. First things first, Toledo is an interesting choice for a city that they used because if you remember, Toledo was used as a name in season nine of The Walking Dead. Now in there, it was used for a different purpose and it was just a fun name that the survivors used to point to one of the communities. But if you think about it, season nine is the exact same season, which was Rick's final episode where he was captured by the CRM. And also the other thing is that it is extremely likely that the Civic Republic have many outposts or facilities around the United States. In fact, we saw one of them in World Beyond. So what if the Civic Republic also has a research facility in Toledo, Ohio, United States, where they were holding a conference and maybe that's the exact same conference that they're talking about in the post credit scene. I think that could be possible. Again, it's speculation, but I think there's a lot of things pointing to that actually being true. The other thing I do want to talk about is that it's extremely interesting that there is a doctor who was investigating and researching a cure for the virus, who was also communicating with Dr. Edwin Jenner at the CDC back in the United States, and the CRM have a group of doctors and researchers whose sole job is to research possible cures to the virus. I think there's definitely a connection. Even if the group that we saw in the post credit scene wasn't the CRM, they were most definitely linked to the CRM in some way, shape, or form. Which leads to another possible reveal that not only did the Civic Republic exist pretty early on in the outbreak, but they were also communicating with doctors and researchers around the world to find a cure for the virus that was spreading pretty rapidly. The other thing I do want to talk about is something else that I just thought of, which I thought was pretty interesting. Let's look at this particular scene that was leaked pretty early on during season one of World Beyond. In this scene that was leaked, we actually see a female soldier with the CRM emblem on their jacket and some CRM soldiers in the background and also some CRM emblems in the background. She was speaking in Spanish. She said in Spanish, to whom is this message? There is still hope. Do not give up. We are the new order and we are going to rebuild humanity. We will protect every community that is on our side. Now, obviously it's not official or it's not confirmed that this scene was a real scene. It could have been fan made. What I think is interesting is we saw something similar on the Walking Dead World Beyond. The same way that this Spanish CRM soldier was broadcasting this message to everyone, Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublek was broadcasting a message to the Alliance of the Three for the Civic Republic military in the United States. So there's definitely similarity and the scene with the Spanish soldiers came out way before this scene with Elizabeth Kublek was ever even shot. You know what I mean? So I think what might be happening here is that they intended to use this scene with the Spanish CRM soldier, possibly as a post credit scene, but because it was leaked, they decided not to do it. And if that is in fact true, then that means that the CRM most definitely have bases or outposts in Europe, in Spain particularly. So it's not out of question to think that they would also have a base or a facility in France. One other thing I just have to mention is again, Rick Grimes' brother was in Spain and this leaked scene that we saw with the CRM soldier was someone talking in Spanish. 
I'll let you connect the dots there. The last thing I do want to mention is what we also know about Elizabeth Kublik is that she is British. She has a British accent, obviously. And if we kind of look into the wikia a little bit and more about what we know about the character, we find out that she was in the government and she had strong ties to the British government and also the States government, which is why she ended up as the Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublik of the CRM in the first place because of her connections to the governments of the world before the fall of society. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share and smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.